you have said kids don't know. And I'm telling you, I knew. Kids know. It took. I remember sitting on my parents' bed at the edge of it, and I was looking up at an old, what then was new television that was a big box, and it was up on top of an armoire. I was in the room by myself, and I remember seeing a gentleman who was incredibly flamboyant and didn't look like anybody I had ever met. I later learned that that was Harvey Milk. But there was another woman who spoke and she looked like all the ladies that I saw on Sundays when I went to church. And she said that that flamboyant man was going to go to hell. Members, please let your conversations outside the rails. She said that she was there to save children. And I took it that she was talking to me. She said that women who liked other women would go to hell. That they were a danger to society. And I knew I was one of them. And that there was something wrong with me. That I was not okay. I later remember riding in the car with my mom down Broadway. We, I grew up by Hobby Airport. It was old enough that I didn't have a seatbelt on. And I absolutely loved my mother. Still love her. And we were about halfway down the road and I probably had about 10 minutes before we got home. And I thought, I need to talk to my mama about the lady I saw on TV. And I thought, as a young child, that if I said anything, I would not be loved. That was the moment I went in the closet. I let conversations like this keep me from talking to my parents. My parents didn't have the chance to help me because I heard from somebody else on the TV. I will tell you that when I did finally come out to my parents, my mom was very emotional. My dad happened to walk in the door at the same time and he had a pack of stuff in his hands. And I said, Dad, I'm gay. And he put the stuff down. He walked over, gave me a big hug, said, I love you. Took three steps back, picked up the pack and said, now can we talk about the phone bill? <laughs> You will sense potentially throughout this day that my colleagues that have suffered the same closet, the same feeling of harm and hate, and that we do not belong in this world, much less our own body, that we will probably be incredibly raw and rough today. We say that to say, I promise you, having this conversation, much less this legislation, will cause harm to our trans children, transgender children.